So, garbage man, taking out the trash. I got interrupted on my last video. My mistake, I forgot to put it in air, into airplane mode. Yet, once again. Got interrupted and that's okay. We'll start it up again. Um, we were talking about um, honoring the garbage man and all of its many family members there. And there's so many on this earth right now who um, have been taking out the garbage, so to speak. The firemen comes to mind, the police department. But I'm focusing today on the garbage man and also the fly. Let's talk about the fly for a second. The fly gets a horrible name and the fly has been really st standing up um, within my hemisphere, within my consciousness, within my radius. What a bad rap. And what does the fly do? And of course, everything has, has many different levels, right? Everything has great meaning, especially within your life. Every bit of clothing you wear, the positioning of your, the items in your house, all carries energy, all carries vibration, all carries a me message, the food that you're putting in your body. So the fly, what is the fly doing? The fly on the surface, you know, because of our belief systems, is unattractive because he gets in the trash. He is, you know, came from a, a worm that we've called maggot. Uh, I don't hate that word. <sighs> he, what does he do though on, on a different level? He's clearing dead energy. So, when you see a fly in your house, or when the fly lands on you, clearing dead energy. And what do we do? We are quick to kill him, right? Well, let me tell you something. I will go way out of my way to save a fly. I do not put myself above the fly. I do not put myself above any, li any form of life because we are all equal. Life is life is life and life is God, and life is love, and life is source. So um, we rejoice in all forms of life, okay? Got some coming into the fold here. Let's see what's up. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Hi, hi, sweetheart. How are you guys doing today? Who is this little angel? <laughs> and you guys are matching today. You have uh, the purple... I'm sorry, the pink flowers, and she's got her pink dress on, and that's nice. You like pink, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good color. Yeah. What a sweetheart. <clears throat> okay, so beautiful how, how, how God works, of course, and if you've been watching my videos, you see God showing up in all of his and her many forms. So let me segue into what I just saw there. I saw a Mexican woman taking care of a white baby, which is the theme in my city. The Mexican woman has been raising everybody's kids around here, folks. And man, is that a, is that a blessed thing. I'm so thankful that the Mexican woman is raising the white children around here. Now, you talk about taking out the trash and not getting your due respect. It is the Mexican who has played the role of servant and helper, right? But he comes from a very honorable and very powerful tradition, is the Mexican. You know what I mean? Um, and, and, and the Mexican, now of course, my, I was raised by a Mexican father who was giving me unconditional love back before I knew what that was. He gave me everything including literally the shirt off his, his, his back, which I wear to this very day. Before he passed away, he, he, he set some, he, you know, he knew it was coming. And he, man, I, I, this is not the conversation for that one. He, he did some really beautiful things that I ended up finding later on in life. So wh who, who just passed our path right there is the Mexican woman, the nanny, okay? Blessed be the Mexican mother. I hold her as high as I hold anything on this planet. 
she has endured and she has been patient she has faith she has honor and she has class uh, look how we've treated the Mexican look what look what's going on right now the Mexican built most of our homes the Mexican is an artist he has created many of our gardens um, he has taken the role that life gave him again as one of the many enslaved uh, ethnicities and colors that the white man enslaved we moved him out of his kingdom uh, in America Athena what are you doing don't stay here baby um, you know Los Angeles was his home before we came in and took it from him well things are going to be changing on this planet you guys and um, things are, are going to be coming correct here and certainly the Mexican is going to be honored and cherished for what he and she has has done for us for what he and she has done for us again she is raising all the kids in my neighborhood while mom and dad get um, tied into the nine to five enslavement trap that you know when they think they got to have two houses instead of one and three cars instead of one they're both go off to work while the children you know suffer and of course it's also the system set that up so who is here to help us the Mexican specifically the Mexican woman don't look at them as servants guys don't ever look at them as servants look at them as blessed angels who are assisting us in our families and speaking of families you know our families here in America have lost we've lost it and it's been geared that way to separate and divide the families to cause that pain and sorrow but when you have a beautiful Mexican woman raising your child they've got a huge advantage in this life and it's the Mexican I see in the park and it's, just, it's the Mexican that has his family and he's here at the park together playing soccer barbecuing together and the togetherness you know what I'm saying so so I'm glad that they they walked into the picture frame there now the garbage men okay so we talked about the flies removing dead energy um, <clears throat> let's go this way so the fly is removing dead energy what is the garbage man doing the garbage man is taking the dead energy the story that's that brews within your life the the diet which is so important and many of us have a very toxic a very um, cancer driven diet um, but there's so much in that garbage, you know what I mean? There's, and it's the energy of your family. So who takes, the, who takes that, that dead energy, that story, from your house to its final resting place? It's the garbage man. It's the garbage man. Do we ever give thanks? Do we ever notice him? Or do we curse him on the road when his truck is in the way? So, that being said, I'm going to wind this up here. I did a couple, I've done a couple little things, again, starting to appreciate everyone, and honor everyone. I've, I painted a little bit on the, on the uh, garbage cans. Again, in and the, in the color schemes, blue and black, right? The blue is Archangel Michael, the black, the darkness. Michael right now nurturing the darkness. I painted on those and then now I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round up some, some cash and, and uh, give them some nice gifts put it put it in their hand and guys when you give gifts anyone can give a you know a certificate or something give something meaningful now more than ever but at the very least maybe you can go outside shake somebody's hand show your appreciation and thank and cherish the underappreciated garbage man till the next time <laughs>